Welcome back you guys. Today we're making some new paintings. I've got a new setup. Like, look at it. Not that good, but it's a new setup. It's more stabilized. It's better for my back and my knees because sitting on the ground ain't that good for my knees. And we have a new style, new colors, new everything. As you can see, I have painted the canvases black. So we can just redo them and we don't have to use the new ones I got standing over there. As you can see, I also have a whole bunch of colors ready for a new project. But today's project, we are going to start with these colors. Okay, so now we're going to do just the line. Let's just see how we'll do the line. I think I'm going to start here. Just do like a small flow like that. All right, and on the base layer we'll be making of, I think olive green. Maybe even a bit more. And then a layer of pink. sides with a little bit of black again so we can do the overflow and I'm thinking I have not made enough again so maybe let's quickly stir up some new black and I'm thinking my especially the olive line is too big but we'll see how it goes we're going to do a completely new style today. I'm just stirring up my new black for a nice consistency. All right, let's do a new line like that, like that. Okay, now blow dryer technique. Am I satisfied? That's always a question. Because I know there's a lot of extra paint in there. Hmm. Am I satisfied? I am not satisfied. I want more turquoise. So maybe let's give it a little bit of extra in here. And I ruined it. That's how fast you can ruin it.
Okay, so as you can see and as I just said, that's how fast these things can get ruined. Let's try to sag it in a bit. I think I should keep it like that. What do you think? Probably going to do a new layer over it again. Uh, next time I'll be doing it. I do like this fancy drip work I got going on on the side. Uh, I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna put it on the drying side on my left. And we're going to take a new one. And I truly want some inspiration of the things I just made of. I don't know, can you see this and here? Like this is very nice. A whole lot of black. As the last time I said, a whole lot of black with just a, a, a tiny zest of other colors. And here it's the completely other way around, but it's also pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what we do with it. Now I do need to make a whole lot more black. Already almost out of black again, it goes very fast. Young Farm. Don't be mean, I was a chubby kid.
I don't think y'all can see where my head is hanging about, but... Young foreign. Don't be mean. It's like too much black in here, right? Thing shouldn't have happened. Now, I do like this one a little bit more, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Actually, when I'm looking at the left one, I do like that one a lot. Um, Now we're here. Maybe let's tilt it a bit and see if we can do a little bit of extra. I think I'm going to keep it like this. Time to let these paintings dry. I'm happy. I'm actually quite happy with this one. Maybe I should have went more for a flower shape. Uh, that's something I can try next time. This one, mm. but I think it's a good color combo. Also, like the the olive in there, it's not too much, but it's good. And one other thing I need to learn: it make a whole lot more black, and the rest is just extra. Colors, you see, I, I have extra colors over there that I needed to make so much black. So that's something I really need to learn, something I need to try out. 